Hello everybody, welcome to Joe's Toy Store. So today's episode, I'm actually reviewing my own personal laptop that I use every day. Now it is the Acer S5 VX15. Now it's an entry level gaming laptop and however, like it is very practical to use and buy. Now the reason why I say that is because it's actually under 1000 USD. Uh, which is rather cheap if you're trying to get a very practical like uh, gaming laptop. Now, it has very many functions, obviously. Uh, first of all, it's got U USB Type-C port, two USB, uh, 3.0, uh, the HDMI, the LAN cable, uh, a USB 2.0 SD card and the audio input. Um, I mean, in terms of battery life, uh, if I'm hard gaming, I probably get uh, roughly around two and a half hours, so which isn't that great. Uh, but if I'm actually just working, so no games at all, then I probably get around like five hours, four to five hours out of it. So obviously, it depends on like your screen brightness and everything. But uh, I guess in terms of battery wise, the downside is that you must bring your charger pretty much everywhere you go. Now, some of you may probably not know, uh, I run my own logistic business as well as a consultant at another startup company and managing also the supply chain. And obviously, lastly, I make these product review videos uh, once a week. So obviously, my the laptop that I choose right now must be port portable so not too hard to carry um, so obviously in that sense I wouldn't choose like a 17 inch uh, laptop because of this so it's 15 15.6 inch um, this laptop so it's still good in terms of the weight it is a bit heavy uh, like I can actually feel the weight when I put in my backpack obviously uh, that comes in most 15 inches laptop I used to use the Samsung, a 13 inch laptop. The only issue was after two years, my 256 SSD just uh, was completely finished because of obviously all the emails and the gamings I tried to install. Um, I mean, in terms of that, it didn't have a graphics card. So I was playing like on, on a very bad quality like uh, screen. But I mean, that didn't stop me from gaming. But for this one, uh, you can probably say it is the best valued laptop right now, I think. I mean, I, I, re after, I have been researching for over like two months and the only, com only real competitor was the Dell. Dell had pretty much everything exactly the same. The graphics card, they're both uh, GTX uh, 1050, except mine is TI, which is slightly better. Uh, they are the same price pretty much uh, if you look at Amazon they are very identical except the screen wise uh, Acer I find a little bit better because of the angles um, Dell was pretty much like you have to find the exact spot sweet spot but the angle wise was very small like it had to be either like this or maybe just a little bit standing that's it but Mine could probably go like from here all the way to here. I can still look at my screen very nice and clear. So here, take a look, the brightness wise. So you can see like the changes, obviously there you can't see. Now you probably there, probably start to see like a little bit of difference. So obviously like the, the quality of the screen, it is slightly better than uh, the Dell's one. But the main problem with most computers is the memory is too small. When it comes to memory, I mean like the data storage. Like uh, most gaming laptops that come in either 128 uh, gigabytes of storage or 256, it is actually very rare that you get a one, one 256 plus a one TB uh, SATA hard drive. So, which is mine right now, because Dell has only got the 256 gigabyte uh, hard drive. Mine has 256 plus the one TB. So in that sense, like when it comes to work, I have plenty of storage 
that I need. Uh, when it comes to fast speed installations, obviously I install all my programs into the 256 and then let's say like my files and everything, I put it in the D drive where I have like one TB of it. So in that sense, it is actually very good value for the money. Now, there, it looks very good, I guess. Uh, however, it, the feel is very plastic and it is pretty much made out of plastic. Uh, it's got like the two fans. In terms of temperature wise cooling down, it is awesome. And it is very quiet also, which is very good also. However, like you probably see, it is still pretty plasticky looking, which I mean, for me as a budget laptop, like I'm not gonna complain too much because obviously like if I had the money, I would be buying like the top gaming laptops like the Acer Predator or something or the Razer. But I mean, when you're on a budget, you gotta compromise with uh, certain things. And obviously like the looks wise, who cares? When people see my laptop, they, they already know that I'm a gamer pretty much when they see it. Uh, the whole thing's pretty plastic. I mean, it's brushed. The only thing is like, you can easily see like there's finger marks on the screen, I mean, sorry, on the, on the top, on the lid. Now, another issue is here, you'll probably notice there's a lot of like the, the finger marks on the side and on the side here too. Uh, I mean, that one, you just can't get rid of it, but Norm normally I just, I'm okay with like just grabbing a tissue and just wiping it once in a while. Uh, the buttons are pretty plastic. So in that sense, I actually connect my other Corsair, Corsair uh, K95 RG, RGB Platinum keyboard. So I use an actual keyboard instead of like the laptops when I'm in, my, in the office. So obviously that's better for, for wear and tear. And in terms of the hinges, it's only one hinge. I'm concerned probably like in a few years time would the hinge be quite loose. So obviously like it can easily move around. I'm not sure yet, but right now it's still fairly steady. Like I don't think anything has changed. Now another issue, uh, when I'm opening my laptop, certainly you would need two hands to open it. You can't open it with just one hand because of the weight distribution with the hinge and everything. If I just try and open it one, like it will just flip together because it needs two force to actually just open it up. So, I mean, it's not much of a concern really. Um, I mean, I think this laptop, you just gotta bear with pretty much everything, like all the downsides. I mean, downside really just to me, it's just the plastic built, the plastic keyboards, the easily uh, smudge from the fingerprints on the trackpad and everything. But, and, oh, and the low battery, obviously. But everything else, it's fine. Like, I mean, you can inst pretty much you can play any game with this laptop. I can easily get uh, 60 frames per second and on like a game like Dota or LL or something like that. Uh, you probably see a frame rate drop when it comes to like CSGO or something like that. So it's, it's not much of a concern. I mean, you just got bear in mind that you are buying a budget laptop if you ever think of uh, the Acer S5 VX15. Obviously, I don't get paid for, for this and I didn't get for free. It's just really my own personal opinions. Uh, this one's the two red lines. It's just the way it's built, the material. It doesn't actually light up when you turn on the PC. And when it comes to the keyboard, uh, there is the red backlight when you turn it on, as well as the WSD, uh, sorry, WASD. Uh, that's also in red. And I'll just show you quickly. You can probably see it like, yeah. The keyboards, the backlights are all red. You can't change it, doesn't matter though. 
I mean, obviously when you buy something cheap, like if you buy, let's say like a Mercedes or a Ferrari or something, like you'll be expecting like a high quality. But if you're getting like a cheap car, like another brand, just a very cheap car, you're not gonna expect that it has everything a Mercedes or Ferrari has, which in that sense isn't very practical. You just gotta accept like what you can afford. I mean, in terms of work-wise, S the SSD is fast enough for you to do anything pretty much. It's just that when it comes to proper gaming, you're not gonna get like the, the speed which like a 3,000 or 4,000 USD laptop will give you. Now, there's nothing pretty much, everything else is self-explanatory. I mean, I, I got this with 16 uh, DDR4, 16 uh, gigs DDR4. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like when with this laptop, when it comes to when it comes to like buying this budget, with this budget, like it, don't put your expectations too high. And I'm definitely sure you would actually love this laptop. That's it for today, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And yes. Uh, for the actual model of the S5 VX15, I'll leave it in the below, so you guys can go check it out and search on Google or whatever, and see whether you can find a cheaper price. But mine's six thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine Hong Kong dollars, so roughly around just over eight, uh, just over eight hundred USD. I know Amazon's selling it right now for nine nine nine. So, but I mean, you can check it out. I'm sure they have like a discount because I bought mine during a discount period. So, yes, hope you guys enjoy it.